All right, we've got a Fox News alert right now at 17 after the hour. Nate slammed the Gulf Coast of, uh, as a Category 1 hurricane, leaving behind a trail of destruction. It is now a tropical depression moving <clears throat> north and threatening to dump more heavy rain. That rain today here in the Northeast. Meanwhile, Elton Barber joins us live from Biloxi, Mississippi, where they have had so much water. Hey, Ellison. <laughs> They, they really have a lot of the casinos seem to have gotten the bulk of that. There are thousands of people still without power this morning, most of them in Alabama. Officials there say about 7,000 people in the Mobile area are without power here in Mississippi. Mississippi Power says everyone who lost power during the hurricane has it back. One of the most noticeable things left behind by Hurricane Nate is this boat right here on the beach behind me. It's been stuck here since Sunday morning. For the most part, this hurricane caused very minimal damage here in Biloxi and also in Alabama and Louisiana. But this boat washed up on shore. A local news outlet is actually reporting that that boat belongs to a woman and her fiance. She is, according to their reports, living in Orlando with her family while her husband is overseas. She noticed a local reporter tweeting, showing that boat on Facebook and said, hey, I think that's my boat. The local news outlet is reporting that she's making plans to try and travel up here and assess some of the damage. But apparently she and her fiance normally live on this boat right here. About Half a mile from where we're standing are a number of casinos. One casino that took a lot of water, particularly in their lobby, is the Golden uh, Nugget Casino and Hotel. Storm surge came into that lobby there. It cleared out, and we're told there's actually relatively little lasting damage inside of that casino, but that is one of at least three casinos that had some sort of flooding. For a lot of other places, the flooding took place in the parking deck. This is the first hurricane to hit the state of Mississippi since Hurricane Katrina back in 2005. We did not dodge a bullet in Mississippi. We got hit head-on at night by Category 1 storm. If that same storm, if Nate would have hit us 15 years ago, the damage would have been much more uh, extensive. Steve Ansley and Brian, that's what officials here in Mississippi keep referring to Katrina. They say we did a whole lot of work after that hit us, and that's why we were ready for this storm this weekend, and that's why things aren't nearly as bad as they could have been. Back All to right. you guys. So they learned from, from history, right. from the we past. Did, indeed. All right. Thanks, Allison.